this time we ask that all who are able to please stand for the invocation and then remain standing for our national anthem. Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful day you give us. Thank you for traveling mercies, bringing our friends in from Bernal. And I thank you for the game of basketball. And I pray today that you would bless each of our crowd, all of our players, our coaches, our referees, and our fans. Help us to bring glory and honor to your name through this game. Make some noise for your CIU Rams. A sophomore from Seabrook, South Carolina, wearing number three, Zion. Get out here, top scorer. A freshman from Anderson, South Carolina, with jersey number five, the Baron. you inside the Moore Fitness Center on this Wednesday evening for AAC action as Bernal has traveled up from Gainesville, Georgia to take on the Columbia International Rams. Number one, Kay Crenshaw with you on the CIU Sports Network as we welcome you into this women's matchup of a pair of teams that each have three wins on the early season but are both looking to bounce back from tough losses over the course of the last week. For Bernal, it was in conference play eight days ago where they fell by just four points to Union at home. Meanwhile, for Columbia International, well, they had some action over the Thanksgiving holiday up at NAIA The Show, a Thanksgiving tournament in Kingsport, Tennessee, going 0 for 2 on the weekend. Opening tip won by the Bernal Tigers in their road black uniforms with gold trim at the top of the key to Michaela Pope. Handoff pass left side to Talia Williams. She brings it 
out of the free throw line, then picks up her dribble. Handoff pass right back to Cope, who has to dribble in the corner. Swings it back out, the perimeter 10 to shoot. Into the hands of Williams, left wing three, too strong. Battling for the rebound was Zani Thompson, and initially went off her fingertips, was saved from going out of bounds by Wilkerson. And it's Thompson who brings up the floor before giving way to Howard at the top of the key. To the right elbow in the hands of Wilkerson. Just along the right side of the floor, she kicks it. Left wing three from Hatcher, bang! A great start for Madison Hatcher, the career three-point holder for Columbia International. Gives the Rams an early three-point lead. 9-10 left in this opening quarter. Cope at the top of the key, kicks right side, Williams. With Columbia International playing in an off 2-3 zone. Swinging around in the corner. Taylor Green dribbles back out to the front court. Kick pass to Hannah Cannon. She moves right to left, trying to find her way in the lane. And it's stripped and stolen by Samarian Webb. On the other end, the freshman looking to go coast to coast, layup too strong. Put back opportunity from Hannah Wilkerson off the mark, but she's fouled and will head the line for two. Cannon picks up her first for now, first team foul. As Wilkerson steps to the stripe, 12 for 18 through the first eight games of CIU season. That's a 66% shooter. First one of the afternoon, just pinballs out, kissed every inch of the rim for falling off the mark. 8.44 left in the opening quarter, Columbia International leading 3 0. Wilkerson's second free throw, too strong. Loose ball corralled by Brunels. Kayla Stafford, her first rebound tonight. Cope slows down the offense as he crosses midcourt. Dribbles right side, handoff pass to Talia Williams. Now on a cut underneath to Green. Layup blocked by Wilkerson off the backboard. Looking for transition. Wilkerson's pass is stolen away, intended for Hatcher, as it was Cope on the interception, if you will. Up the floor in the corner. Right wing three, Taylor Green. She got it. Tied up at three with 8-11 left in this opening quarter, courtesy of Taylor Green from the right corner. Mika Howard, just along the right arc, picks up her dribble at the top of the key. Now in the hands of Zani Thompson, who came out from the post. Wilkerson, left wing, back to Thompson on the right side. Thompson to the top of the key for Quinika Howard. 10 to shoot, she gets one screen, keeps it outside, trying to dish it to Hatcher, but it's stolen by Green. On the other end, Green with the left hand, blocked out of bounds, says Zani Thompson, get it out of here. The first block of the night for the sophomore from Seabrook, South Carolina. It was Green looking to go up with the left hand, and Thompson making her think twice about cutting inside again. Inbounds pass for Bernal with a fresh 25 on the shot clock. Goes top of the key for Hannah Cannon. Kick back out right side, Green. She now drives the left hand, kicks it into the corner for a Cope three-point attempt. It's waved off due to a travel from Green before she let go of the pass. First turnover of the night for Bernal. 7.34 to play in the opening quarter. We're tied at three. Howard across that Rams logo at center court. Kicks to the right elbow for Wilkerson. Just beyond the free throw line, she dishes underneath to Howard who found her way inside the circle underneath the basket and lays it up and in with the right hand. 5-3, Columbia International leads. Opposite in, short range jumper from Talia Williams, no good. Offensive board, put back from Stafford off the mark. Thompson corrals the board off the left side of the glass. Hatcher dribbling into the right corner then driving baseline, looking to send it opposite way, deflected out of bounds as it will stay CIU basketball with 23 on the shot clock, 7.02 on our game clock, and a CIU 5-3 lead. Hatcher to trigger. On the baseline, gets to Wilkerson at the top of the key. She drives right side of the paint, lifts the right hand up and in off the window for Hannah Wilkerson. Her first bucket today, it's a four-point lead for CIU. Williams, right baseline mid-range jumper good. To draw Bernal back within a bucket, 7-5 our score, 6.40 left in the opening quarter. Mika Howard, the fifth-year senior, over to the freshman Wilkerson at the top of the key. They kick it back left side. Hatcher's second three-point attempt today, too strong off the right side. And an offensive foul whistled on the rebound against Zani Thompson, her first. Columbia International's first as well. With six and a half to play in the opening quarter. 7-5 our score, CIU leading Bernal. 
jumper from the right elbow from Talia Williams off the mark. Offensive board grabbed by Stafford, but her putback is stripped away by Thompson. On the other end, Hatcher back to Thompson. Right-handed layup good from the block for Zani Thompson, her first bucket, and it's back to a four-point lead for the Rams. Nine to five, Dally Parton style, six minutes left in the opening quarter. Opposite side, jumper good from Cope along the left baseline to draw back within two. Samarian Webb playing point guard, works up the right side of the floor, drives right hand, look to be fouled, no whistle, the bucket still falls. Off the glass goes Samarian Webb, the Pendleton, South Carolina native. Now all five starters for CIU has scored as they lead 11 to seven, five and a half to go in the opening quarter. Right wing three, good from Talia Williams. The senior guard is doing it all for Brunel. Give her five of their 10 points. Timeout, Columbia International. Five and a half to play in the opening quarter. CIU leads Brunel 11 to 10. We'll be back for more in moments on the CIU Sports Network. Five and a half minutes left in our opening quarter as Columbia International leads Brunel 11 to 10. This is a Rams team that was looking to bounce back from two tough losses over the weekend up in Kingsport, Tennessee at NAIA The Show, a Thanksgiving tournament with losses to West Virginia Tech and Rochester University. Holding a one point lead, COU has sunk four of their last five shots and are shooting 71% through this opening quarter. Howard underneath to Thompson, back outside. In the right corner stands Webb as she tries to swing it back up to half court. It's saved by Wilkerson. Into the hands of Webb, left wing, kick right side, three ball, up from Hatcher, looking for the bank, not there. Wilkerson, the offensive board. She's fouled on the putback and will get a trip to the line for the second time today. Kayla Stafford of Bernal picks up her first, team second. 5.04 left to play in the opening quarter. Columbia International leading 11 to 10. Wilkerson soon to step to the line. She was 0 for 2 earlier in this quarter. 66% shooter on the season. Third attempt, line drive shot in. True freshman of Salisbury, North Carolina. She knocks down both. Wilkerson with an early four points. Brings Trawick on for Wilkerson. 5.04 left in the opening quarter. Columbia International leading 13 to 10. Cope along the right side. The five starters are made on the floor for Bernal. At the top of the key stands Cannon. Gives it right back to Cope. Now to the right elbow. Looking into the corner for Williams. It's picked and stolen by Thompson. In transition, Thompson picks up her dribble at the elbow, back out to Howard on the perimeter. She dribbles initially in, but then back outside. Into the hands of Thompson, who stands in the right corner. Swing it around, top of the key, Samarian Webb, 15 to shoot. Webb driving, right hand side of the paint, layup, air ball. Deflected out of bounds, last touch by Brunel. A fresh face coming in as Kayla Stafford exits for Brunel. This Kate McCarter, the junior out of Blairsville, stepping on. Hatcher to trigger underneath the Rams on basket. She kicks it to Thompson at the top of the key. Six to shoot. Now in the hands of Samarian Webb. Does she see the sock clock? Three, now two, lifts up a three ball attempt. It's off the back iron. A really rushed and forced shot it felt like from Samarian Webb who didn't see the shot clock winding down. Into the corner, Taylor Green, long two, just a couple steps in from the free point line. She knocks it down. 4.04 left to play in the first. Columbia International leads 13 to 12. Thompson to Hatcher along the left side. Three ball up, too strong. Rebound corralled by Williams. And immediately, Brunel head coach Chris Stewart telling his team to go faster in transition. Top of the key for Cope. She dribbles to the free throw line, then picks it up, looking at his own defense. Two, three from Columbia International. Right wing three lifted by Green, too strong, offensive board grabbed by Williams. Back out to the right arc for Green. 
Defended by Hatcher. Top of the key for Cope. Now to the elbow from her Carter. Kick in the corner. Left wing three. Cannon. Air ball. Grabbed out by Howard. And as she tried working up the floor, she'll draw the contact. With 3.21 to play in the first quarter. And a host of fresh faces checking in for Brunel. A team that plays an average of 15 of their 18 rostered players per game. Has just put four new faces on the floor. That last foul on Taylor Green, her first, team's third. Meanwhile, for Columbia International, Jalen Twitty and Mariah Leinbach, the fresh duo out there. Trawick, meanwhile, on the outside, into Thompson's hands on the left wing. Back over to Trawick on the right arc. 13 to shoot, out to Jalen Twitty, the freshman point guard. Dribbles left side, over to Webb, who works left to right, lifts a runner from the paint, off the mark, rebound grab by Taylor Williams, one of the fresh faces off the bench for Bernal. She's looking to go coast to coast, right hand layup too strong, High off the backboard, it sails. Rebound, snagged by Thompson. 13 to 12, CIU leading, just under three minutes left in the first. Thompson driving, lifting a layup into the air, she's fouled. Nyla Moore picks up her first, team's fourth for Bernal. But Thompson at the stripe, first time today. Sophomore, a 55% shooter on the early season, five of nine from the line. First attempt is good. As Columbia International had started out this game making five of their first seven shots. They have missed each of their last five, though. Thompson will knock down both and give the Rams the three-point lead. 2.40 to play in the opening quarter. As working up the floor will be Nyla Moore. She kicks it left arc. Catherine Forey underneath from a Carter who was whistled for the travel as she went to drive from the left elbow. Two and a half to play in the opening quarter. Columbia International up 15 to 12. Jalen Twitty playing the point, crosses the center court logo. She remains there, just over the timeline. 2.19 to play, 18 to shoot here in this first quarter. Over to Thompson along the left arc. A between the legs dribble, pull up jumper off the mark. Offensive board grabbed by Trawick. Her short range jumper no good, but Twitty grabs yet another offensive rebound. Pass underneath to Trawick is deflected out. Last touch by CIU. The multiple opportunities on that possession while the Rams have missed each of their last seven shots, they are creating opportunities for themselves offensively. For now, with less than two minutes to play in the opening quarter, gives to Forey with a left arc three. It's too strong. Twitty, the board, full court pass, trying to find Thompson high over her head. Looking for the transition bucket as Wilkerson checks on for Thompson from CIU. Talking about transition, that was a point of emphasis this week in practice for Danielle Fleming's squad. After the loss to Rochester, you look back at the box score and just six fast break points in that loss for CIU. It's an area they're wanting to improve on beginning here tonight. Right wing three for Bernal, knocked down by Jill Pittman. We're tied up at 15 with a minute and a half to play in the opening quarter. Samarian Webb dribbling in the right corner. Now to the wing, she kicks it top of the key for Wilkerson. A minute 20 to play in the opening quarter, tied up. Wilkerson driving left hand, no good. Trawick had the board, but is punched out of her hands by Forey and will remain CIU basketball with a minute 17 left in the first, tied at 15. 20 inbounds to Webb in the right corner. Now to Trawick from the mid-range jumper. One hop and in. A few steps into the three-point line from the right side, Trawick finds her first basket and puts the Rams up by two with one minute left in the first quarter. Top of the key is Nyla Moore. She drives right hand, pull up jumper from inside the paint, too strong, rebound by Wilkerson. 51 seconds left, Wilkerson looking to drive coast to coast. It's stripped and stolen. She ran into the wall. That is Kate McCarter. On the other end, Forey looking to drive with the right hand, whistled for the travel. And yet another turnover for Bernal in this opening quarter. That's now their sixth of the ball game. 17-15, CIU leads it with 41 seconds to play in the first. 10 second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Wilkerson at the top of the key, right side for Trawick. Leinbach pops off off of the screen. 
Drives to the right elbow, lifts the runner up, it's short. Rebound grabbed by Forey. Bernal has 24 seconds left in the first quarter. They can hold for the last shot if they choose to do so. Shot clock has been turned off. Bernal trailing by two. 15 to shoot. Right side Moore looking to drive right hand. She gets to the paint. Basket no good. Rebound grabbed by Wilkerson. Eight to shoot on the other end. Leinbach fouled hard underneath and no, no foul is called as Leinbach was dragged to the floor by a pair of defenders. It's simply an out of bounds call that stays with CIU and immediately the training staff gonna come on for Leinbach with five seconds left in the first as she's back up on her feet and walking off the floor. Thompson to take her place, but as Leinbach was driving, she was brought down by a pair of defenders. But no whistles were blown. Five and a half seconds left in the first quarter. It's 17 to 15, CIU. Both teams had huddled up after the injury, and it will be Rams basketball on their own baseline. As I said, Thompson takes the place of an injured line bob. But it'll be Webb to trigger. Quick inbounds to Thompson. One hot bounce out to Twitty. Two seconds, she lifts up a long range jumper, no good, and just inside the three point line from Jalen Twitty, that will end the first quarter. Columbia International started out hot, making five of their first seven shots. And while they do lead 17 to 15 over Bernal, the Rams offense grew cold as they made just one of their last 11 from the floor. Could they have an offensive turnaround to begin the second quarter? We'll find out when we come back for more Rams basketball on the CIU Sports Network. Back for second quarter action inside the Moore Fitness Center as Columbia International leads Bernal 17 to 15. It was a first quarter that we look back on that started out on the right foot if you're Columbia International. The Rams sank five of their first seven shots from the floor, but then grew into a bit of a cold spurt for their offense as they would finish the first quarter making just one of their last 11 shots. They do still lead it. 17 to 15, and it is Rams basketball to get the second quarter underway, moving right to left. Jalen Twitty at the top of the key over to Thompson. She's joined the floor by Webb, Trawick, and Wilkerson as Thompson's driving the left hand. She made the left-handed layup, but a foul is whistled before the shot. A hand check foul on Nyla Moore. Her first, team's first as well. Remains Rams basketball up by two. 9.50 left in the first half. Jalen Twitty dribbling left arc, picks it up. Looking to go underneath to Trawick from the left block. Turnaround hook shot, left short. Rebound grabbed by Williams. We're now working in transition, three on three basketball. Up underneath to Pittman on the baseline. Back outside Williams, right wing three. Too strong. The rebound falls into the hands of Thompson. Nine and a half to go in the first half. Rams lead it by two. Webb underneath to Trawick as she looked to go up with the basketball. She's fouled underneath by Pittman, her first, team second, but that foul is whistled on the floor. Another inbounds for CIU. Webb to trigger on the baseline, out to Trawick, back top of the key, Thompson. Webb off the screen, holds him on the left arc. Back out Thompson, long three-point shot from Thompson from the straightaway. He took one hop on the iron, then up top off the backboard for out of bounds. 9-14 to play in the half. Columbia International leading 17-15. Jill Pittman playing point guard. Crosses midcourt, kicks left side. Catherine Forey back to Pittman on the right wing, into the corner for Williams. Three ball up, good. 
Talia Williams, the senior out of Macon, Georgia, had five of Bernal's first 10 points. She's back in the scorebook once again, sinking that three-pointer and giving the Tigers their first lead, 18-17. Trawick trying to find Wilkerson underneath. It's stolen away by Pittman. On the other end is Williams to the top of the key for Williams, who just sank a three-pointer moments ago. She dribbles to the left elbow, settles for a jumper. It's off the mark. Offensive board grabbed by Forey. She drives the right hand. No good on the reversal. Cleared out by Thompson. Eight and a half to play before halftime. Columbia International trails by one. 18-17 our score. Thompson on the right wing. Gets past one defender. Keeps her dribble alive. And as she looked to go underneath with the right hand, she's whistled for the charge. Pittman caught the shoulder of Thompson, who lowered it, trying to create some space. That's Thompson's second. Team's first. 8.16 to play in the half. She, along with Samarian Webb, check out with Monika Howard and Madison Hatcher, two starters back on the floor. Renal leads 18-17 with eight minutes left in the first half. Taylor Williams, left wing, gets a screen from a Carter. Kicks right side for Williams. Back out to Taylor Williams. Underneath McCarter, she's whistled for the travel. And that's now the sixth turnover of the night for Bernal. And immediately, Kate McCarter will check out of the game with a fresh face. Now the tenth substitute of the night for Bernal. That's Polly Simpson, a junior from Gillsville, Georgia. Army International trailing by one, under eight to go in the half. Hatcher to Trawick at the top of the key. Back out Twitty, wide open, left wing three ball up, and good. Jalen Twitty says hello to the scorebook. It's 20 to 18, CIU leading, seven and a half to go in the first half. Top of the key, Taylor Williams trying to find Forey. She does, driving right side, whistled for the travel. Forey catching the pass and taking too many steps for putting down a dribble with 7.22 to play in the first half. Now the seventh turnover of the night for Bernal. Rams leading by two. Top of the key to Hatcher. Now to Trawick, who came out from the post to the straightaway. She dribbles to the right block and tries going back to the perimeter for Howard, but it's stolen away by Taylor Williams. She gives way to Talia Williams in the corner. Jill Pittman three ball off the mark. Rebound snagged by Howard and she's fouled working in transition. Taylor Williams picks up her first. For now it's third. 6.53 to play in the first half. Of note, Taylor Williams and Talia Williams, no relation on the floor for Bernal. 6.50 left in the first half. CIU up by two. 20 to 18 our score. Left side, Hatcher three ball lifted. She fell to the floor after letting go. The attempt is left short and falls out of bounds on the air ball. No whistles were blown on that Hatcher three point attempt. Pittman dribbles right side of the front court out to Forey. Back to Pittman in the right corner. Driving baseline, right hand runner. Left short, took one hop off the rim before it was grabbed by Trawick. Juanika Howard, the fifth year senior, to work it up the center of the floor. Rams leading by a bucket, trying to build on to that lead before halftime. Top of the key is Trawick underneath Wilkerson. Foul. Looking to go up with the left hand from just inside the paint. Wilkerson is fouled. She'll head the line for the third time tonight. Six minutes, 11 seconds left in this first half. Columbia International up 20 to 18. That foul on Taylor Williams, her second. Bernal's fourth. Wilkerson's attempt off the mark. She's now two for five tonight from the line. A 66% shooter on the season. Second attempt, nothing but net from Wilk. Three-point lead for CIU, just over six minutes left in the half. Pittman, handoff pass to Leah Williams, just inside the right wing arc. 
She lifts a right-handed layup up, took a couple hops on the rim before falling off. Now the Rams working in transition. It's Twitty at the top of the key, over to Howard, who finds a wide open lane. The left hand too strong from Quinika Howard. She doesn't make that mistake too often. Left side, it's Taylor Williams driving. Layup off the mark. She grabbed her own rebound, but it's punched out by Howard as it will stay Brunel basketball. Fresh face in for Brunel. Shania Galls, the senior out of Loganville, Georgia, takes the place of Williams, who exits with two fouls. 21 to 18, our score. CIU leading Brunel with 5.38 to play in the first half. The inbounds pass deflected right back out by Quinika Howard. As Jill Pittman, who is the trigger on the baseline, moves closer to the right side of the floor. She gets it in, opposite way. Left wing three up by Green. It's off the left side of the backboard, but the rebound is grabbed offensively by Simpson. Back out to Green, top of the key for Gauss. Six to shoot over to Pittman. Short range jumper, good from Jill Pittman on the right baseline. Pittman now with five points, draws Bernal back within one. Just over five minutes left in the half. Trawick short range jumper from the block, no good. Twitty the offensive board, out to Hatcher. Pump fakes once, pump fakes twice. Has to pick up her dribble into the hands of Quinika Howard. Who goes, dishes back to Trawick at the free throw line. Working her way in the paint, Trawick is fouled by Polly Simpson, her first, Brunel's fifth, as that'll put Trawick at the line. Simpson exits, meanwhile we see the return of starter Kayla Stafford on the Columbia International side. Cheyenne Coakley, a true freshman from St. Matthew, South Carolina, checks in for Quinika Howard. 4.59 to play in this first half. Trawick's first free throw, too strong. She was six of seven on the season coming into tonight. Her second one rattles in. A two point lead for CIU, under five to play in the first half. Leading Bernal 22 to 20. Top of the key to Leah Williams. Picks up her dribble, kicks it left side for Pittman, guarded by Wilkerson. Pittman, back top of the key, Stafford. Left elbow jumper off the mark. Offensive board grabbed by Talia Williams and she finds the putback. 10 points tonight for Talia Williams of Bernal's 22 as we're all tied up. Right wing three, Jalen Twitty. No good off the right side. She'll grab her own board, put it back up, and knock it through. But an illegal screen called against Trawick. She was blocking out a defender to clear the lane for Twitty. Basket waved off. Tied up at 22 with four minutes, 20 seconds left in the first half. Bernal looking to find gold. They've made just two of their last 10. Top of the key to Leah Williams with 15 to shoot. Dribbles right side underneath to Stafford. Spins around Trawick. Shot off the mark and a foul is whistled. I'm not sure that anyone touched her. I believe that Stafford tripped up under her own feet, but referee saw otherwise and will send a sophomore from McDonough, Georgia to the line. Stafford has missed all three shots she's attempted tonight. She'll make her first free throw. Previously one for five on the season from the line. She'll sink both to give Bernal a 24-22 lead. 4.07 to play in the first half. Samarian Webb back onto the floor for Hannah Wilkerson, Columbia International. Jalen Twitty. Running point for the Rams, who trail by a basket. CAU has missed each of their last four shots as they have not sank a basket in nearly four minutes. Trawick along the right side, picks up her dribble, back out to Hatcher in the right corner. Hatcher's not taking dribble, now she does. Around a Trawick screen, she lifts a jumper up and is fouled. The mid-range jumper from just beyond the right elbow extended. Hatcher drew the contact from Jill Pittman, her second. Bernal sixth. Hatcher steps to the line. Our first one this afternoon off the right side. 
had made four of eight from the free throw line through the Rams' first eight games of the season. Hatcher's second free throw, good. Bernal's lead cut down 24 to 23. 340 left in the first half. To Leah Williams, cross court pass to Green in the corner. Now back out to Pittman, over to Williams. Right wing three, to Leah Williams too strong. Rebound grabbed by Cheyenne Coakley. Three and a half to go before we head to the locker rooms. Rams down by one. Twitty holding court on the left side. Pass back out to the perimeter, stolen away by Gauze on the other end as she looked to go up with the right hand. It's punched out by Webb. It'll stay Brunel basketball with 3.16 to play in the half, leading by one. Pittman a trigger underneath Brunel's own basket. She gets it into Stafford, who hands it right back to Pittman in the right corner. Guarded by Coakley underneath the Stafford, who has the size mismatch. Turn around, lay in. No good from Kayla Stafford. Missed opportunity for Brunel. Twitty's pass to the left side for Coakley. Whistle on a travel on Coakley as she just wasn't ready to receive it. 3.04 to play in this first half. A starter back on the floor for Brunel. That's Michaela Coke, who did not score before heading to the sidelines. Under three minutes left in the first half, Brunel leads by one. Stafford's pass underneath for Talia Williams, initially in front of her, but as she tried to save it before going out of bounds, she gets the bump by Webb, her second, team's fourth. Stays Brunel basketball. Leading by one, 2.48 to play in the half. Pittman's pass over the top of everybody as it'll sail out of bounds. Chris Stewart, head coach of Bernal, was calling for a timeout and none of the referees heard it. And he is adamant about it. Very upset and irate. to play in this first half. We're now leading 24-23. It is Rams basketball. Monika Howard checking back into the ball game for Cheyenne Coakley of CIU. Howard running point, dribbles to the top of the key and deals to the right elbow for Wilkerson. Backing down Williams, her defender. Turnaround shot off the mark from Wilkerson and it's Williams to grab the rebound. Cross midcourt, Williams driving right hand, blocked by a Wilk. But a foul is whistled. Wilk can't believe it, neither can I, and if you were here, you wouldn't either. Anna Wilkerson picks up her first. Columbia International's fifth, with 2.25 to play in the first half, to put Talia Williams at the line. My vantage point posted at the second level of the Moore Fitness Center here. It was no doubt that Wilkerson had blocked that shot, but the referee must have seen contact from the backside. Leah Williams at the strike, the senior out of Macon, Georgia. 72% shooter from the line. First free throw good. Williams now with 11 points. Came in with that as her season average. One of the top 10 free throw shooters in the AAC through eight games. Her second one will pinball out. Stafford, the offensive board, or put back left short, but she's fouled. This time by Hannah Trawick, her first. Columbia International sixth. For now, as a team, shooting 62% from the free throw line. Stafford, meanwhile, knocks down her fourth of the afternoon. Now four for four for Stafford. That's where all of her points have come from. Her second attempt off the right side, her first miss in the charity strike. We're now leading by three, 2.20 to play in the first half. Webb dribbling to the right corner, back up top. In and around the left side, her layup blocked off the backboard from Talia Williams. But Columbia International recovers. Howard's pass deflected out by Brunel as he stays with CIU. 
2.06 to play in this first half. Hatcher to inbounds for CIU as Aubrey o Grant has checked in for the Rams for Trawick. Quick inbounds to Howard. She knocks down the jumper from the left elbow to put CIU back within one. We're now looking for their first basket in three minutes. Top of the key to Leah Williams, guarded by Wilkerson. Spin move inside. She's trapped in the paint. And three seconds is whistled on Williams. You knew her time was running thin once she picked up her dribble and couldn't find an open teammate. The scoreless drought continues for Bernal, who's made just two of their last 12 from the floor. A minute 46 left in the half. Bernal leading 26-25. Columbia International trying to regain their lead. Wilkerson the top of the key, over to Hatcher. Back out to Grant, who's fresh into the ball game. Underneath Hatcher, who cut around off a screen. Her right-handed layup left short. Rebound grab by Jasmine Jackson. She takes it into the paint, then back outside for Talia Williams. Pull up jumper, right elbow, off the mark. A battle for the rebound, and a foul is whistled on Aubrielle Grant of Columbia International, her first. The Rams seventh. A battle for the board underneath. Neither player had possession of the basketball. Between Grant and now who's at the line and Kayla Stafford. A very physical first half between these two teams. Stafford's that's first attempt is good. She's now four for five on the night. She'll sing both with Catherine Forey back onto the floor for Bernal as she checks in for Talia Williams, who is having some sickness on the sidelines. A minute 20 to play in this first half. 28 to 25, Bernal leads over CIU. Grant at the top of the key in the hands of Hatcher. A three ball with tight, she lifts it up, too strong. Rebound snagged by Stafford. One minute left in this first half, Bernal leading by three. On the other end, Jackson looking to drive. Right-handed layup, too strong. Stafford, the offensive board. Dish pass underneath to Forey from the left side. She'll see it through. For now up 30 to 25 with 48 seconds to play. Underneath for Grant. Left-handed hook shot, too strong. Wilkerson, the offensive board. One dribble and in for Hannah Wilkerson. Deficit back to three with 36 seconds left in the half. Up the floor, Jill Pittman. Right side looking to drive. Layup, good. She somehow lifted that shot up over the six foot tall, Aubrielle Grant. Bernal leads 32-27. Shot clock turned off, 18 seconds left to play in the half. The Rams can't erase the deficit entirely. They can definitely give themselves a jump start for the third quarter. Down by five, left side Hannah Wilkerson, six to shoot, lifts the layup up. Left short, Pittman the board, up the floor for Forey, pass intercepted by Howard, and that will be the end of the first half. A physical first half in AAC action tonight as the Rams are without two of their best, Deja Taylor and Tierra Cook. They trail Bernal 32 to 27. As we'll be back in moments, the CIU head coach, Danielle Fleming, we return on the CIU Sports Network.
Back on the CAU Sports Network here at halftime, joined by Danielle Fleming, coach, your group down by five at the half. What were your first half takeaways? Um, I thought they got some pretty wide open jumpers in the first quarter. I mean, just didn't have a hand up switch trying to guard the paint. Um, and just kind of, I mean, kudos to them for hitting those short jumpers, but we got to have a hand up. So, you know, I think we let them score some easy buckets and then vice versa. I think ours just wasn't falling. You started out offensively hot to start this game. You made five of your first seven, but then your group fell cold. Four for your last 29. What can snap back into that offensive rhythm? Yeah, you know, it definitely hurt us uh, when Mariah went down. I think she's one of that could just go get a bucket, you know, and then when you're down, some of those people, uh, and then we had a little bit of foul trouble with Zani, so we're kind of lacking in people who can put the ball in the basket. Uh, so I think going in, our, we have to do it together. It's not going to be one person taking over. Like, everybody has to do their part. I'm not very happy with our rebounding right now. I think for a team that wants to lead the country in rebounds, I don't think we're doing that big of a job. So that's what I'm hoping to see in the next half. A physical first half, both teams with double-digit fouls. How do you coach that physicality? Uh, well, first of all, I'm happy to see us getting to the line. We got to make it. I, you know, we shoot 100. We make 100 free throws a day. So I would like to see that pay off here. I, I leave it to me. I don't want us to miss, but I would like to be 90%. So I think that on on a defense, and I mean, I when our shot blocker goes down, everybody can't be a shot blocker. You got to just put your hands up. So I think we got a couple uh, rebounds that went off our grass, and we fouled on that. Hate to see that. So going to coach that up a little bit. Thanks, coach. Thank you. We take you into halftime. Columbia International trails were now 32-27. We'll be back for second half coverage in just under 15 minutes when we return on the CIU Sports Network.
back inside the Moore Fitness Center as we begin second half action between the Bernal Tigers and CIU. It's 32-27 Bernal and the Tigers have the basketball. Right side to Leah Williams, brings it back out the perimeter into the hands of Michaela Cope. Cross court pass, left corner three from Green, pinballs out, loose rebound corralled by Hannon. Her put back attempt off the mark, rebound grabbed by Webb. Rams working in transition. Back underneath to Webb, left handed layup off the front iron but a late whistle will send her to the line. First personal on Talia Williams. First team foul as well for Bernal. Nineteen fouls in that first half between these two teams as Webb misses her first off the back iron. A 45% shooter on the season. It was a physical first half where baskets were tough to come by. Webb knocks down the second as she cuts the deficit to four. Rams going full court pressure. Cope guarded by Webb. Back over left side, Cannon now to the hands of Williams. They haven't gotten across mid court yet as Cannon goes over the top to Williams in the front court. Now left side for Taylor Green. Back out at the perimeter for Williams, but it's back behind her into the back court. A turnover for Brunel, their 11th of the ball game. Leading by four with 9.15 to play in the third quarter. Wilkerson over to Howard at the top of the key on the inbounds. Nine minutes left in this first half. Hatcher spins around her defender. Lifts a right-handed runner up off the mark. Thompson's putback attempt left short off the glass from the left side. We're now working in transition. It's Cannon along the right side. Into the hands of Cope, the point guard, who dribbles to the paint and brings it back to the perimeter. Guarded by Howard at the top of the key. Hands it off to Leah Williams, guarded by Webb. Williams driving right hand, gives to Stafford on the low block. Out to the left wing. Cope, three ball up and through. Michaela Cope. With the three ball, now five points for her as she extends the lead for Bernal, the largest of the night, to seven points. Eight and a half to go in the third quarter. Underneath, Thompson, guarded by Stafford. At the low post, turnaround Jay, too strong. One hops, the backboard, then the rim. 8-19 left in the third quarter. Bernal leading by seven. Cope looking to drive and extend the Tigers' lead. Back outside to Cannon. She moves right to left, now stands center of the paint, turnaround hook shot, left short. Wilkerson the board, up the floor to Hatcher. Right-handed lay-in, good. The Rams with no fast break points in that first half. Finally break through, 35-30 to 30 our score. And Taylor Green has whistled for the travel before she gets it across midcourt for Brunel as they can't break the full court press. Brunel leads as Howard stands at the top of the key. An official's timeout to reset the shot clock to 30 seconds. Had not been reset after the turnover. Wilkerson to inbounds just in front of the scorer's table. Out to Hatcher, right wing. She's looking to drive the baseline. Step back jumper lifted short. Rebound corralled by Stafford. 7.38 7.38 left in the third quarter. We're now leading by five. Cope in the corner for Green. Brings it back, top of the key. Hand off to Talia Williams. Guarded by Wilkerson. Crossover dribble, end of the paint. Runner left short. Thompson the rebound. Rams down by five. Seven and a half to go in the third. Thompson trying to go coast to coast. Pump fakes a defender and lays it in with the left hand. A snazzy move from Zonnie Thompson that brought everyone off their feet. Trying to work up the floor. Talia Williams whistled for the travel. Make that the 13th turnover of the night for Brunel. 7-12 to play in the third quarter. Do you sense a momentum shift in the air? Howard at the top of the key. A three ball ties it for CIU. Right elbow for Wilkerson. Out to Hatcher. Pump fake on the left arc. Now dribble drive. Out to Thompson on the baseline, into the paint, right-handed hook shot off the mark, rebound grabbed by Stafford as Bernal will have a chance to work in transition. Cope 
Up the right side of the front court. Handoff pass, Cannon, top of the key. She dribbles left to right into the far corner. Back up top to Taylor Green, guarded by Hatcher, over to Cope, left wing. A couple steps in, back out to Williams, 10 to shoot. She dribbles to the left elbow, picks up her dribble, guarded by Webb. Now to Cope, five to shoot, does Cope see it? Guarded by Wilkerson, a long two from just inside the three-point line, off the front iron, and will roll out of bounds. Another big-time defensive stand for the Rams, who have held Bernal scoreless for the last two and a half minutes. Columbia International trails 35-32. They've shot 28% from the floor today. Wilkerson driving, right hand, bucket. Hannah Wilkerson, now nine points for CIU as they're within one. Williams to Cope on the right side. They cross midcourt on a cross-court pass to Cannon. On the left side of the front court, it's stolen away by Webb. The Rams can work in transition to Wilkerson. Right hand, new lead in the game. Timeout, Brunel. Columbia International pieces together an 8-0 run to reclaim the lead they hadn't seen since the first quarter. 36-35, Columbia International leads over Bernal. We'll be back in moments on the CIU Sports Network. The momentum is back with the Columbia International Rams. They lead Bernal 36 to 35, thanks to an 8-0 run over the last two minutes from CIU after trailing out of the break. They were able to battle back, get a key, few key defensive stops, including holding Bernal scoreless for the last three minutes, thanks in part to this full court press that they're putting on. The inbounds to Williams, she's whistled for the travel. Make it 15 turnovers today for Brunel. You have to guess probably half of those have been on traveling. 5.50 left in the third quarter. CIU up 36-35. Top of the key, Samarian Webb out to Hatcher. Right wing three lifted. Pinball's out. Howard the offensive board, but then it's stolen away from her by Cope. Up the right side of the front court is Taylor Green as Brunel looks to reclaim their lead. Left side, Cannon left all alone. Three ball up, rattles out. Howard clears out that rebound. Working up the floor, Quinnica Howard trying to go coast to coast. Left hand, lay in, good. A fresh four is at the scores table for Brunel as the lead has been pushed to three for CIU. Cope breaks the press of the right side of the floor and will come out to reset the offense. Into the hands of Cannon, left wing, back in the corner for Cope, but she's whistled for the travel, trying to drive baseline. 5.03 to play in the third quarter. As I said, a fresh four onto the court as the lone holdover. And no, they actually now bring a fresh five out there for Bernal, a team that plays an average of 15 players per game. Meanwhile, Jalen Twitty checks on for Columbia International. Hatcher, right wing. Back top of the key for Howard. Now left side, Samarian Webb guarded by Forey. Thompson comes out from the post with the straightaway, lifts up a three ball, bucket. Zani Thompson from the straightaway, just her eight three of the season through nine games, but this one matters. CIU up 41 to 35 with under five minutes left in the third quarter. Crossing midcourt now is Bernal on the drive as Nyla Moore. Cross-court pass, she falls to the ground, as does Jalen Twitty. But it's Twitty whistled for the block. That's uh, Twitty second. Columbia International's second team foul. Mass and Hatcher checking out of the ballgame for CIU. It's Jasmine Twitty, the twin sister, now on. We've got a pair of Twitties along with Webb, Thompson, and Howard, the five Rams on the floor. For now, basketball underneath their own hoop, 20 on the shot clock. Pittman inbounds to Forey in the left corner. She brings it back to the perimeter, back over to Pittman. Left corner three, off the mark, but she is fouled. Too strong on the shot from Pittman, but Webb fell into her on her close into the corner. That's 
Webb second. Columbia International's third. Pittman at the line, and her free throw ends a 13-0 run from Columbia International. She knocks down both, but has one more. She was fouled in a three-point attempt. 11 of 14 on the season coming into tonight from the line. Jill Pittman makes it three for three on that trip. The lead cut down to three points. Jalen Twitty to the top of the key, her sister Jasmine. Jasmine driving right hand. Bounces it off her own foot, but she'll draw the contact on a hand check. Catherine Forey, the guilty party, her first. For now second. Jalen Twitty to inbounds on the baseline. Gets it in to Howard on the right side. Screen from Thompson. Three ball lifted. Good, but waved off. Zani Thompson whistled for the moving screen. Her third. That's dangerous waters to play in for a player who's had such a strong day. 9.6 rebounds. Right side of the floor. Now left side is Taylor Williams. Handoff pass. Forey. They swing it around. Pittman into the corner for Green. Back up top. Forey straight on. Three ball. Good. Catherine Forey ties this game back up at 41. As Bernal looks to be back in the driver's seat. On the other end, Jalen Twitty says otherwise. Right-handed layup, puts the Rams back up, 43-41. Right side, Nyla Moore. Guarded by both Twitty, she gets it back outside to Taylor Williams, who drives into the paint, is immediately met by Thompson, and a jump ball whistled that points the direction of CIU. 3.36 to play in the third quarter. Columbia International up 43-41. Offense getting a chance to get set against a man defense from Bernal. Webb at the top of the key, back out top. Thompson pump fakes once, lifts a shot from the left elbow off the mark. Jasmine Twitty grabs the rebound, left-handed put back too strong as Williams will bring down the board for Bernal, trailing by two. Left side, Nyla Moore three. Left short, rebound grabbed defensively by Webb. Columbia International working in transition over to Twitty. She drives left to right, lifting a shot from the paint, not there. Nyla Moore the rebound. Under three to play in the third quarter. Columbia International up 41-43. Kick it out, left side three ball from Forey. Bucket, Catherine Forey puts Brunel back on top, 44-43 with 2.43 to play in the third quarter. Forey now with eight points. Twitty on the right side of the front court to her sister Jasmine. Now Thompson comes out from the post to the right side of the straightaway. Crossover dribble from Thompson, looking to get it underneath. She is fouled, no, jump ball that goes Bernal's way. We told you it was a physical first half. That's carried over here in the second half. As Thompson gets the no call, she checks out along with Jalen Twitty as Hannah Wilkerson and Madison Hatcher, two starters, return to the floor for CIU. 2.23 to play in this third quarter. We're now leading 44 to 43. Pittman works up the right side of the front court. Handoff pass, Nyla Moore guarded there by Hatcher. So the Rams are working in a 2-3 zone. Left side for Michaela Etheridge. She looked to kick it back to the corner, but it's stolen away by Webb. Up the left side goes Howard to the baseline. Underneath, wide open. Jasmine Twitty laying it in with the left hand. No one was in three feet of her as she puts CIU back on top, 45-44, with a minute 50 to play in the third quarter. Pittman crossed the center court logo. Guarded by Webb, now along the left side. Webb guarding her heavily. Ball's put on the ground, and a foul is whistled. Samarian so Webb couldn't believe it. The long braids just fell to the floor as she dropped her head. That's Webb's third personal, and Columbia International's fourth foul. A minute 40 left in the third quarter. As Talia Williams checks back in for Bernal, and Taylor Williams, no relation. Right side, Nyla Moore looking to drive. Cross court pass into the left corner, for Williams, fresh off the bench. Guarded by Jasmine Twitty, back over. Left corner three ball lifted from Nyla Moore. 
She was wide open. It didn't fall, wouldn't have mattered. She's whistled for the travel as she was getting her feet set before the attempt. A minute 25 left in the third. Columbia International up by one. CIU trying to snap a three-game skid. Meanwhile, Bernal has lost two of their last three. Both of these two teams are hungry to get back in the win column. Howard over to Wilkerson. Left arc three lifted, and the freshman says give it to her. 48-44 CIU leads with 60 seconds left in the third. Pittman to the right corner for Forey, who's made two shots from beyond the arc in this second half. Back top of the key for Nyla Moore. Left corner three from Pittman. Bucket. Jill Pittman answers the call on the opposite end to put Brunel back within one with 45 seconds left in the third quarter. Pass to Webb in the right corner. She drives baseline over to Hatcher. Left corner three ball, too strong. Rebound grab by Nyla Moore. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock, but she's looking for the basket and she finds it. A right-handed drive from Nyla Moore puts Bernal up by one. 49-48 our score. 20 seconds left in this third quarter. Howard holding for the last shot. She stands at the top of the key. 10 seconds left in the third quarter. CIU down by one. Over to Wilkerson, who drives the right hand. Shot off the mark. Rebound grabbed off the glass from Nyla Moore. Up to Forey, who lifts a right wing three, and it just pinballs out at the buzzer. If you're looking for excitement, you found it here in Columbia. We head to the fourth quarter, and it is a one-point game in AAC action. Bernal leads CIU 49-48, as we'll be back in moments on the CIU Sports Network. We head into the fourth quarter of an exciting matchup on this Wednesday evening. Bernal leads Columbia International 49 to 48, but it has been a back and forth physical contest. Let's look at the lead changes. How about seven of them tonight between these two AAC foes? But then you also look into the foul category. It's been physical from both teams, each with 12 fouls. We head to the fourth quarter. Bernal leads 49-48. It'll be CIU basketball to get things underway. It's Howard at the top of the key over to Wilkerson. They're joined by Coakley, Jasmine Twitty, and Samarian Webb. Twitty comes out from the post, back up top. Coakley, three ball lifted off the left side of the iron. Rebound snagged by Talia Williams. Up the floor, Forey on the other end, gets the transition bucket with a right-handed reversal. Catherine Forey has had a strong second half, all 10 points from her today in this third and now fourth quarter. As a pass is dealt to Webb on the left arc, she's whistled for the travel. That the 13th turnover on the day from CIU. One fresh face, Zonnie Thompson returns to the floor, a starter in tonight's game for Jasmine Twitty and CIU. 9.33 to play, Bernal leads by three points. Pittman handoff pass, Nyla Moore along the right arc. Back to the top of the key, working on a 3-2 zone defensively. To the left elbow, now to the left baseline for Talia Williams. A short range jumper rattles in. Took two hops all around the rim before falling through. As Talia Williams now has a game high 11 points. Bernal leading 53 48, nine minutes left. Thompson straight away three. You betcha! Zani Thompson knocks down her second three ball of the night for 12 points. 
Back within two is CIU. On the other end for Bernal. Driving Nyla Moore, right-handed layup. One hop on the back iron and off the mark. Thompson grabbing the board. Dishing, left side, Quinika Howard, three ball. Overshot, air ball out of bounds. Saved though by Coakley. The Rams have another opportunity. Howard back out to Coakley who saved the possession but she's whistled for the travel. 8.35 to play in the fourth quarter. Coakley out, Hatcher back in. 53-51 our score, Bernal leading. Both teams have been nearly identical today. 35% from the floor for Bernal, 34 for CIU. Forey at the top of the key trying to drive her layup blocked by Thompson. Columbia International down by two in transition. Out to Hatcher. Took one step too many, looking to retreat to the three-point line, which is her specialty, to try and give CIU the lead. She's whistle for the travel. Catherine Forey going to check out for Bernal as the starter, Taylor Green, returns to action. Green today, five points for Bernal. They lead by two with eight minutes left in the fourth. Top of the key is Nyla Moore. Out to Green, who's fresh off the bench, guarded by Wilkerson. The Rams now going in a man defense. Green picked up her dribble. Now in the corner, Nyla Moore, three ball, too strong from the corner. Rebound grabbed by Etheridge. Back out to Moore as the, re as the possession stays alive for Brunel. Moore drives right hand. Contact, whistle. Foul on Zani Thompson, her fourth. And that is a huge piece to lose for CIU. Thompson's been great today. 12 points, eight rebounds, but Hannah Trawick will take her place after Thompson hit the right arm of Nyla Moore in the middle of the lane for her fourth foul. Moore at the line, two points today, her first trip to the strike. First attempt is good for the junior from Dakula, Georgia. A 70% free throw shooter on the season. 21 for 30. She makes both to extend Bernal's lead 55 to 51. Jalen Twitty up the right side of the floor, now to the top of the key for Hannah Wilkerson. Trawick comes out from the post to the right elbow. Handoff pass, Samarian Webb. A couple dribbles into the paint. Puts up a left-handed layup. Leaves it short. Loose rebound. Grabbed by Trawick. One power dribble. And the offensive put back there from Hannah Trawick. The fifth-year senior draws the Rams back within two. On the other end, a full-court pass. Intercepted by Quinika Howard. Spin move into the paint. Howard off the glass. You talk about two fifth-year seniors and Trawick and Howard erase a four-point deficit and tie it back up at 55. On the ensuing possession, Brunel the inbounds whistled for a travel just as they caught the pass, just trying to move their feet too quickly. Tied at 55, 7.07 to play in the fourth quarter. Twitty to trigger underneath the Rams on basket. She's joined by Wilkerson, Howard, Webb, and Trawick on the floor for Danielle Fleming's squad. CIU looks to snap a three-game skid. Webb down on one knee, tying her left shoe. All knots have been tied up. 7.07 left in the fourth. We are tied at 55. Rams basketball in the inbounds, 30 on the shot clock. They get it into Wilkerson, just a foot inside the three-point line at the top of the key. Spin move into the paint, left hand up, bucket for Hannah Wilkerson, now a game high 16 points to put the Rams back up by two. 57-55 our score. Pittman trying to kick it out for Moore. She saves it from going out of bounds and it falls to Michaela Cope. Her pass to Talia Williams nearly flies away but Williams is able to recover and Stafford will come out from the post and dish it over to Moore. She drives right hand, layup, left short but she is fouled. Hannah Trawick, the guilty party. That's her second. Columbia International's second as well. A 6-0 run from CIU has the Rams up 57-55 with six and a half to play in the fourth quarter. Bernal inbounds underneath their own basket. Pittman gets it into Cope. Now underneath Stafford. Spins around Trawick for the left-handed lay-in. Kayla Stafford the bus 
the basket. Now seven points for her, and we're tied up at 57. 6.22 left in this fourth quarter. Wilkerson, top of the key, gets a screen, now a drive, but instead it's also an illegal screen against Quinika Howard, her first, Columbia International's third. As we said earlier, fouls have come aplenty today. 15 for CIU, 12 for Bernal. Tied at 57, just over six minutes left in the fourth. Up the left side goes Nyla Green. Around Trawick, right-hander no good. Rebound grabbed by Stafford, now a third crack at it. And off the front lip, it'll roll. Moore grabs the rebound, and the fourth time's the charm for Brunel. They're up 59-57 with under six to play. Webb, stutter step drive, good. Right-handed lay-in for the Pendleton, South Carolina native. We're tied up at 59. Cope crosses center court. Now dishes left side, Nyla Moore. Driving left baseline, runner lifted good, up and over Trawick. Nyla Moore having a strong second half. Six of her eight points in these third and fourth quarters. We're now up by two with five and a half to play. Top of the key, Wilkerson. Three ball from the straightaway. One hop, one bounce, one bucket. Timeout, CIU. Hannah Wilkerson, a key three-pointer. She's three for three from beyond the arc this afternoon. Columbia International has taken a 62-61 lead with 5.22 left in the fourth quarter. We'll be back in moments on the CIU Sports Network. Five twenty-two left in this fourth quarter, and Columbia International leads Bernal 62-61. When they've needed it most, the Rams' offense has clicked. They've made five of their last five shots from the floor to hold a one-point lead. Fresh out of CIU's timeout, it's Bernal basketball working against the full-court press. Pittman brings it across the center court logo and initially lost her dribble. Stafford was there to pick it up and dish it over to the left wing. Three ball lifted from Williams, too strong. Rebound grab from Quinika Howard. Five minutes left in the fourth, Rams up by one. Howard over to the right side of the floor along the wing. Crossover dribble into the paint. Right-handed runner falls through for Quinika Howard. Now eight points for the fifth year senior to put Columbia International up by three. Stafford crosses center court, dishes over to Michaela Cope on the right wing. Guarded there by Howard as the Rams are in a man defense. Cope resets the offense just to the right of the front court. Hands it off to Nyla Moore who works right to left to the top of the key for Stafford. Looking to go underneath to Moore. Up over Jalen Twitty. She's fouled. She'll head to the line, but Jalen Twitty had her hands straight up in the air. I'm not sure exactly where you find that foul. But the referee is saying, even though her hands were straight up, she leaned in with her torso around her hips to bump more. In any case, it's two for two today from the line for Moore, and you can make it three for three. She sinks her first attempt. 64-62 with 4.27 left in the fourth quarter. Second attempt too strong from Moore. Columbia International leads by two with 4.20 left in the ball game. Wilkerson top of the key, driving left hand. Too strong, but she'll head the line as she was fouled. Nyla Moore whistled for her second. Bernal's first in the fourth quarter. 13 fouls today from Brunel, 16 from Columbia International. Wilkerson at the stripe. She's three for six today. This attempt off the back iron. Wilkerson had been a 66% shooter coming into the game. Trying to extend CIU's two point lead. Wilkerson. Too strong once again. Loose rebound corralled by Stafford of Brunel. And the 
Tigers will look to tie it back up or potentially take the lead with a three-pointer. Four minutes left in the ball game to Leah Williams. Underneath to Stafford, she's fouled from the left side by Jalen Twitty. And that's Twitty's fourth. Second player today with four fouls for CIU as she joins Zani Thompson, who's over on the bench. Stafford at the stripe, free throw good. She's six of seven from the line today. You go back through Brunel's first seven games of the season, Stafford was just one for five. But she has been solid from the line as she makes both to tie it up at 64. Zani Thompson checks into this ball game with four personal fouls, as does Madison Hatcher. As Trawick and Twitty head to the sidelines. Meanwhile, Michaela Etheridge steps onto the floor for Brunel in the place of Stafford. Howard to run point. Picks it up at the center court logo. Over to Wilkerson, four minutes left in the fourth quarter, tied at 64. Wilkerson's pass to Hatcher sails out of bounds. Miscommunication. The pass went one way, Hatch went the other. Tied at 64, 357 left. It's Bernal basketball. Pittman up the left side, guarded on a double team. She finds Moore, driving with the right hand, up and in. Nyla Moore now with 11 points, puts Bernal up by two. 340 left in the fourth. Howard had dribbled into the paint, now brings it back to the perimeter. Underneath to Thompson, guarded by Etheridge. Shot lifted from the post, she's fouled as her short range turnaround jumper took one hop off the iron and off. Etheridge, her first, for now second. Columbia International trailing by two. Thompson can tie it up if she sinks both. A 55% shooter from the line. First attempt, good. Thompson now three for three from the line today. A quietness over the Moore Fitness Center as Thompson makes both. Give her 14 points and eight rebounds today. Tied at 66 with three and a half to go in the fourth. Bernal trying to work up the right side of the floor. And as Talia Williams ran into a double team, she forces for now, head coach Chris Stewart to take a timeout. And we'll step aside for 60 seconds. 3.24 to play in this fourth quarter. All tied up at 66. Both teams are hungry. Columbia International, 18 points in this fourth quarter. Brunel, 17. It's been back and forth all night long. We'll come back to put a bow on it. We return to the Moore Fitness Center on the CIU Sports Network. Coming down the wire, 324 left in the fourth quarter. We're all tied up at 66 with Bernal and Columbia International. Out of the Bernal timeout, the Tigers have the basketball. Cope at the top of the key, hands it off to Talia Williams on the left wing. She takes a couple dribbles in. Short range jumper lifted from inside the paint. Off the mark, rebound snagged by Hatcher as Howard runs point across the center court logo. Trying to give way to Wilkerson, picked and stolen on the pass from Moore. On the other end, she can't connect on the left-handed layup. Wilkerson grabs it. Up the floor, left side pass to Hatcher, now underneath to Thompson, to Wilkerson. A foot inside the three-point line. She knocks down the long two, and Columbia International up 68 to 66. The Rams trying to snap a three-game losing streak here tonight. 2.37 left in the fourth, they lead by two. 
Pittman over the top to Cope. Cross court pass, left wing three from Williams. Too strong. Quinika Howard the board. Howard across midcourt. Now bring him back to the perimeter. Lifts a three ball up. Too strong. Rebound grabbed by Thompson. Turnaround spin move. Bucket. Zani Thompson knocks it down. Now 16 points today for the sophomore. 2.09 left in the fourth. Columbia International up 70 to 66. Dish over pass, Etheridge. Bucket good on the transition from Michaela Etheridge on the left side. And a timeout taken by Brunel with two minutes left. 70 to 68, Columbia International leads the Tigers. And that leaves Brunel with just one timeout. We'll be back in moments on the CIU Sports Network. Two minutes left in this fourth quarter. Columbia International clinging tight to a two-point lead over Brunel. They're just hoping at least that this, some of this offensive spark that they found continues over the final stretch. Columbia International has made eight of their last nine shots. A minute 57 left in the fourth. Howard at the top of the key, leading by two. Out of the Bernal timeout, the Rams look to extend their two-point lead. To Hatcher at the top. Over to Howard, dribbles right elbow. 10 to shoot, Howard guarded by Cope. There's a size mismatch, and Cope reaches, and she's whistled for it. A minute 38 in the fourth. Chris Stewart, head coach of Bernal, arguing no foul there. Referee not giving him much attention. Rams leading by two and a fresh 20 on the shot clock. A minute 34 to play. Underneath, Quinika Howard. The left block looks to lift a shot up, and she's fouled. Basketball didn't leave her hands. With a minute 31 left in the fourth quarter, Jill Pittman picks up her third. For now, it's fourth. Quinika Howard at the line. Her first trip today, she's four for five on the year. First one up and good. As you could hear the hush of the crowd fall over the Moore Fitness Center. Howard's second attempt. Just as good as the first. A minute 31 left in the fourth. Columbia International leads by four. Pittman trying to work up the floor for Bernal. Gives way to Cope. At the center court logo, Moore crosses the timeline. She stands at the top of the key. Trying to work the right side of the paint. Right-handed layup. Good for Nyla Moore. 11 of her 13 points have come in this second half as she draws Bernal back within two. One minute. Five seconds left in the fourth quarter. CIU leads 72 to 70. Howard, Webb, Hatcher, Thompson, Jalen Twitty, the five Rams on the floor. Webb along the right side, dribbles to the right corner, now brings it to the wing. Guarded by Moore, Webb drives baseline to the opposite side. Out to Hatcher, three ball in the air, left short, and a foul is whistled against Zani Thompson in pursuit of the rebound. That'll be her fifth, and her day is done. She pushed the back of Kayla Stafford in pursuit of the rebound on the Hatcher miss. 45 seconds left. Zani Thompson will foul out. Hannah Trewick will take her place. Stafford at the line with an opportunity to tie things up. Stafford 7 of 8 from the line this afternoon as Wilkerson checks in for Hatcher. Kayla Stafford, the sophomore from McDonough, Georgia, has been great from the line today, but her first attempt in crunch time is off the front iron, no good. Stafford's second attempt, too strong, rebound grab by Howard. Columbia International still leads by two with 40 seconds left. There's a 15-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. 
With 20 to shoot, Howard stands on the left side of the front court. Cope playing off. There'll be about 15 seconds left on the shot clock, but a timeout is taken from Columbia International with 29 seconds left to play, 14 on the shot clock. Well, we'll keep it here as Columbia International leads Bernal 72 to 70. Here across the last stretch of the fourth quarter, Columbia International has snapped back into an offensive rhythm. They have made eight of their last 10 shots from the floor, which is a great turnaround from what we saw them close the first half on as they made just four of their last 26 to close out the first half. We asked Danielle Fleming at the break, what would be the key to snapping your team back into an offensive rhythm? And like she said, all it takes is one shot. Well, the Rams have found a plenty. 21 points in the third quarter, 24 so far in this fourth quarter. They lead 72 to 70 over Bernal with 29 seconds left. They'll have 14 on the shot clock and it's CIU basketball. Into Howard on the left side of the front court. Gets a screen from Trawick. Hatcher with seven to shoot. Up underneath, Jalen Twitty grabs the board, put back with the right hand to push the lead to four points. 15 seconds left now. Nyla Moore nearly has her dribble taken away. She's able to recover, drives the right hand, layup off the mark, Stafford the rebound, put back not there. Wilkerson grabs it, four seconds left, she's fouled. Bernal had their opportunities here tonight, but could not finish it out in closing time. As Danielle Fleming just walks over and gives Jalen Twitty a hug on the sidelines after she made what was the final nail in the coffin to push the lead to four points moments ago. Wilkerson at the stripe. Sinks her first. It's a five-point lead. Three seconds will remain, though this game is all but over. Wilkerson, second free throw, good. 76-70, our score. As Nyla Moore will simply dribble up the floor to finish off the clock. A second half comeback as Br Columbia International takes down Bernal 76 to 70. For CIU, a team that scored just 27 total points in the first half, comes out to score 21 in the third and 28 in this fourth quarter to get it done. They improve to four and five on the year, three and three in the conference. They'll hit the road coming up on December the 3rd at Reinhardt, a two o'clock tip off down in Georgia. We'll be back in moments for more post game coverage, including a conversation with Rams head coach Danielle Fleming. We return on the CIU Sports Network.
here courtside with Rams head coach Danielle Fleming. Coach, I know it's been on the losing end sometimes in close games, yeah. but you finally come out on top 76 to 70. What was the key in those closing moments for your group? Um, I think just pace and control. Our, our press came through for us, and I we don't have much of it, but the senior leadership of Quinica Howard, uh, I mean, she was great. She's great. So I think it down the stretch, it was nice to get her, the ball in her hands and let her make a play. So. Offensively in the first half, your group struggled a bit, 27 points. But there in the fourth quarter, you scored 28 alone. What was the difference in crunch time? Uh, I think our press. I think, you know, once we turned our press on, uh, it gave us kind of a momentum shift. And it was like, okay, getting offensive boards and putbacks and getting to the free throw line. So I think our defense sparked our offense, especially late. One of the final nails in the coffin, if you will, was Jalen Twitty, a second chance putback on a lay-in. During the ensuing free throws, I saw you hug her on the sidelines. Yeah. What did you say to her? I said, good freaking job, freshman. I mean, for her to get in there and get the rebound, take her time and put it up, that was so good for her. You know, she missed a couple free throws that could have put us in overtime uh, away last week. So for her to be in that position again uh, and get the offensive rebound put back, that was great. She had four offensive rebounds tonight. Fantastic. Tonight's player of the game, though, Zani Thompson, yeah. your sophomore post player, 16 points, nine rebounds. How key was she? She was she was key. We call her our shot blocker. She does a great job. I think by the end of her career, she'll lead in shot blocking. So she brings a lot uh, to the game. I think just with each game passing, she'll get better and better. So excited. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. She's Danielle Fleming, Rams head coach. They lock up a 76-70 to win over Bernal as we're now joined by our player of the game, the sophomore from Seabrook, South Carolina, Zonnie Thompson. 16 points, 9 rebounds tonight for you. Obviously, you were feeling it. What was clicking, especially in the second half? In the second half, what helped me was rebound. If my shots wasn't falling at first, then I got a rebound. But eventually, my shots fell, so I thank my teammates for that one. So, yeah, and then everything cut quickly for me it also gave a spark for my teammates as well and especially the bench energy gave me some confidence as well your team struggled there in the second quarter just four for 26 from the floor but there in the final waning moments of the fourth quarter your group drops 28 points what was the difference energy and execution and rebounding of course because only like two of our players had offensive rebounds in the first half so we all had to come out rebounding not just post plays but guards as well how key will this victory be to get some momentum back in your side, Hayden and Reinhardt? We just got to come with the same energy we came in the fourth quarter. That's all I got to say about it. Yes, sir. Go celebrate, Zonny. <laughs> Thank you. That's Zonny Thompson. She's tonight's player of the game as Columbia International takes down Bernal 76-70. to The Rams improve to 4-5 and on the regular season and 3-3 three and three in the AAC as they'll be on the road come next weekend at Reinhardt. Until then... Thank you all for tuning in to tonight's coverage of Rams basketball. I'm Kay Crenshaw saying so long from the Moore Fitness Center, and as always, remember to smile.